Good morning. It is Wellness Wednesday, and we are on week three of our seven week challenge to develop healthy habits one week at a time to kick the summer slump that you may have been in to the curb. So let's recap. Um, you get a point every day for every habit that you are working on. So week one was 30 minutes of physical activity. So if you move your body every day for 30 minutes, you are able to achieve a point. And you can still get in the game, it is not too late. Week two was drink half your body weight in ounces of pure water every day. You get a point for that for every day that you do that. So then you're up to two points a day because you have two habits that you're working on. So we're adding on every week a new challenge, seven weeks in a row, to help you get yourself in gear to live a good life every day. 365 days a year versus just doing a seasonal rush to gain your health and lose your weight. Super simple. You know, it's about the little things. They're easy to do. They're also easy not to do. So it is a practice and it is progress over perfection. Not every day is achievable, but most days are. You can do this. So um, this next one, week three, is a little bit of a conversation I want to have about the time that you're eating. So comment for me what time you have breakfast every day. What time do you eat your first meal of the day? Put that in the comments for me. I got up this morning, had my breakfast, came over here to the shop. I have all the pickups arranged for the week. By the way, the month of July, you get a free CBD sample with everything you pick up out of the shop. If there's something you need on my next order, let me know. And so this third week, the challenge is no eating two hours before bed. So summer, sometimes our meals get later and later because we have more daylight later and later. So our meals get pushed off. There's more activities going on. And what's happening is it's bad for your digestive system as well as the rest of your organs. So when your body is at rest, the organs reset themselves. And if your body is working on digestion, some organs are going to suffer because that energy, that activity, that effort is um, elsewhere. So I will find, I, I work with Chinese traditional medicine and I will find that night owls, most have had their gallbladders removed and they don't digest fats very well. Um, if you are a second or third shift worker, please message me and make an appointment for a consultation you have a bigger challenge because your body is not at rest when it should be. So it is more challenging for you to have adequate sleep, which interrupts your metabolism and also interrupts your gut and brain health. So if you're a second or third shift worker, there are things we can do to work around uh, this discrepancy in your body's natural rhythm. So you have a bigger challenge. So anyway, no eating two hours before bed is your week-long challenge and you get a point for every night that you don't eat two hours before bedtime. Now, I'm gonna up the challenge a little bit for what works for my weight loss clients and that is working with a fast. Just a 12-hour fast will do. So let's say I had breakfast this morning at 7 a.m. I will not have anything to eat after 7 p.m. tonight. So I have a 12 hour window to get my three meals and my two snacks in from seven to seven and I have 12 hours where my body is able to rest and digest and reset the organs before I put food into the body at 7 a.m. the next day. This is a 12 hour fast and it works great for most people managing your blood sugar and your metabolism beautifully. Now, if you would like to do a consultation and work on a longer fast than that, I am open for that conversation. I do have people that do well on 14, 15, 16 hour fasts. Now, what's important is what you break that fast with in the morning. Not a Pop-Tart, not a pancake. It needs to be protein. 
So protein is key in the morning for satiety, feeling full, for thermogenesis, calorie burning, and it prevents all kinds of diseases in the body as well if you are um, doing a good job eating clean, lean proteins. So let's recap. 30 minutes of physical exercise every day, drinking half your body weight in water every day, and no eating now two hours before bedtime, or you can practice the 12 hour fast. What time do you have breakfast in the morning? 12 hours from there, no more food. Give your body 12 hours to reset. So you need to get all of your meals and snacks in in a 12 hour window, giving your body 12 hours to rest and reset. So if you're doing those three activities, if you're keeping up with the challenge, which I know some of you are because you messaged me and I love that. Thank you for letting me be a part of your journey. So the 30 minutes of physical activity was seven points for week one. Then you keep that going and add on the water challenge and then there's 14. So then this week you can do 30 minutes of activity, drinking your water and no eating two hours before bed and there's 21 points that are achievable. So if you've been playing since day one, by the end of this week, you should be up to 42 points. And in seven weeks, our biggest goal is 196 points are possible. See how close you can get. Or even just starting from square one today is perfectly fine. You can achieve 21 points this week if you're able to do all three challenges. Move that body, drink that water, and no food two hours before bedtime. Enjoy your day, and I will see you all on Monday for Motivational Monday. Have a great weekend. We are um, halfway through the week. Hump day. Have a good one. Bye.